Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, where today the big goal is to complete the African leg of our grand tour of going around the place and looking at all the interesting things, which does mean we have got quite a lot of travel to do, because as it turns out, Africa is really, 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 really big, who'd have thought it? So we're down here right now, that's where the camp is, and we've looked at all the interesting things over in this part of Africa, so we've kind of covered off the eastern part, which means all we have left to do is travel around this bit here, which is very, very big indeed. That is a lot of ground to cover. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in a sort of clockwise direction, sort to come around here and then up around here, finishing in this location here-ish, I think, and then we'll pop over to Europe and begin the European leg. But yes, we have got quite a lot of travel to do first. However, before we get on with that, right down here where we are, there is a boundary dispute just, what, maybe a week or two away, possibly? And then over here, we have some transcribed text work to do as well, which I think we should do. I think we should get both of those done because it'll give us a little bit of money, but maybe more importantly than the money at the moment, it'll give us some provisions, which as we've seen, when we're traveling about and not stopping to do contracts and things, the provisions can run out very quickly indeed. So I think, yeah, let's try and stock up before we head off into our big African tour. So let's go and do this boundary dispute because this should be quite easy, shouldn't it? A one star sort of contract tier thing. We get a little bit of money and a tiny pile of provisions. But you know what? Better than no provisions at all. So here we go. How long is it going to take? 16 days. That's not too bad at all. So about a month there and back. That's sort of okay. Do you know what? Yeah, let's get that done. Come on, Keithan. Let's get this sorted out. Oh, hang on a minute. The easy life. Sire the giant appreciates the freedom of life on the road. And Sire lost 12 stress. Oh, okay. Good for you, Sare. Well done. Splendid sub. And now an event's popped up already. There's a lot of events popping up these days. A small deal. As we walk through Kadiro, we are caught up in a crowd of people waiting for a large cart full of building materials to move out of the way. I don't need your stuff. I already got it cheaper somewhere else, one man shouts at another. The other one looks crestfallen and confused. B but what am I supposed to do with all these then? He responds weakly, more to himself than anyone else. Right, okay, so he's bought a load of stuff to somebody else, and this other person's gone, I don't need it now, I've already got the stuff, <laughs> I bought it cheaper. Oh dear, that's a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Um, I'll buy all your materials. Okay, so 25 money, oh, and the holding of Ashara gets extra building materials. I mean, really, that's not much use to us, because the holding of Ashara isn't ours. I mean, it would be quite a nice thing to do for the people of Ashara, but it would do nothing to us at all. Uh, bring your wares to Ashara, so we lose 10, and we gain trading resources for five years. Okay, so building construction time is down and cost is down. I don't think we have sort of buildings in the technical sense of the game. We have our sort of camp structures, but I don't think they're buildings. Or are they buildings? There's domicile building there. I don't know if that little kind of bonus thing there would apply to our camp structures, or if it just applies to buildings that are within sort of, you know, holdings and cities and castles and things. I'm not sure. I don't know. Or move out of the way already. Okay, we're not going to do that because this guy clearly is in a bit of a, in a bit of a sort of a pickle. He's in a bit of a situation. So let's maybe help him out a bit. I think let's go for that one. I don't think Geethan would want to spend all of that money on buying a big pile of building materials that we can't really use. We've got no sort of need for a big pile of uh, timbers and whatever else, buying stone and bricks and things, because you know we're a camp, we move about, we live in tents and things. So I don't think he'd do that, but I don't think he'd just tell him to get out of the way because you know, Geethan is a kind-hearted person who does like to help other people and he is improvident. He does like giving his money away every so often. So I think maybe let's tell him to bring his wares to Ushara. Let's do that one. So it might possibly make our buildings a bit quicker to build and sort of a bit cheaper to build. I'm not really sure, but we'll do that one, I think. Okay, so there you go. We shall help you out, my good sir. And here we go. What is the boundary dispute? It's an ancient map. Hooray for the ancient map. Okay, um, let's do that one. 33 money, 312 provisions, and boom, all sorted. And there you go. It worked. And additionally, whilst we're there... 
let's very quickly go to the role of patrons and see if we can get anything from you. Um, we can get six gold. That's not very much, but we're not really likely to come back here ever again. So we might as well grab that six gold. Um, a few people in the comments on the previous video have said, why don't you get provisions from your role of patrons, people? And it's because if we look at what we get, we gain 200 provisions, which is quite good. That's a nice amount. But the entire county then gets this exploited for provisions sort of debuff for three years which is not very good, is it? That's not very good. So we're sort of, you know, impacting the entire county of people just so we've got, you know, some extra bread to take with us, which I don't think is very geethany. I think, you know, if we're playing a different character who wasn't so bothered about things, then yeah, we would go and do that. But, you know, as we've said, Geethan is a sort of a kind-hearted chap, and I think he'd feel bad about sort of, you know, taking food from everybody else just so he's got it. So we won't do that because that affects you know, the people. However... This person here has got six gold. So do you know what? We will have that. Thank you very much. That six gold that we didn't have before. So there we go. Right, We'll have that. Pop back over here and then head out here and transcribe some text. And again, get some money, possibly get some provisions. That would be quite useful. So uh, yeah, another 20 days out there, 20 days back. So a little bit of time spent over here, but I think it's possibly worth it. Okay, so transcription, peace through war. Okay, so the text is relating to the Battle of El Elila. El Elila. I don't know how you say that, but it's potentially yes, a little bit boring, as these things often are. So what do we do? Do we embellish it? 87% chance and plus three score. So yeah, so if we do that, that would just complete it. We could get plus two. We could get plus two. Do you know what? Let's just try this. We tend to fail on the last one of these. So we'll go for an 87% chance of it working. And boop. Okay, it worked. That's good news. Uh, we'll go for it again. Because why not? And there we go. Another plus three. And now let's go for another plus three. And generally, this is where this goes wrong normally. <laughs> On all the previous ones I think we've tried, generally we fail the last one. Um, but yeah, if we do, if we do actually get this sorted, I think it'll be an exceptional success, which would be quite good. But fingers crossed, everybody. Let's see if it works. And it went wrong again. <laughs> Generally, that happens quite a lot. It's that the game goes, do you know what? You've had two goes of this. Two of those 87% chances, they work very well. But that last one, no, no, no. You, you can't have three in a row. That's outrageous behaviour. So, okay. So once again, the final one failed. So we don't get an exceptional success. But I think we just get your regular success. That's fine. 33 money, 312 provisions. That's all very good. So head back to the camp. Right. We have 255 money and just over 4,000 provisions. Um, can we forage? Can we gather? That's June this year. Okay, so that might be quite good. And we can't go fishing until May this year. Okay, right. So we can't do anything down there to grab a few extra sort of provisions before we go. Um, so I'm thinking, do we either nip to the castle holding and buy some or... Do we possibly save the money and get another camp upgrade done? Um, yeah, we haven't got. There's some very exciting camp buildings we don't have. What was on that we saw last time? It was like a, a nightly sort of debate tent thing, <laughs> which I think sounds like the most geethan of all the things. And I'm tempted to possibly get rid of one of these things and replace it with that, because I think that maybe that's a little bit more interesting. The camp perimeter... I think we'll keep because that's good. That ups our travel speed, makes our travel safer, and we do a lot of traveling. So that makes perfect sense. Keep that there. The barber's tent, that helps us against uh, disease and such like, and it provides a bit of money. So that's quite good as well. Um, and then we've got, yeah, the mess tent, which gives us the chief cook. That's quite good. It improves the gather provisions decision. So that's also quite useful because we want to do that, of course. Um, so yeah, and we've got mobile brewers in there. So we've got people, you know, making some lovely beer for us to drink. Uh, and then over here, we have the supply tent, which unlocks the quartermaster officer and gives us an increase to our sort of provision capacity. But is that all that does? Is that all that does? And we've got, what was that in there? Oh, driven sutlers. Okay, so we can have more supply capacity, which we're not overly bothered about. And we earn a tiny bit of money and we get some stewardship lifestyle experience. I'm very, I'm very tempted 
to get rid of our supply tent. Even though we're talking about needing supplies. Hang on, provisions capacity plus 75%. Okay, that probably does provide quite a lot, actually. Um, okay, maybe we don't get rid of that right now. Because that's going to reduce that number, isn't it? I don't, I can't do the numbers, unsurprisingly. But um, yeah, that'll mean we lose. Oh yeah, we'll be down to, I mean, 50, how's that work? 50% of that would be about 3,500. So I think we'd lose quite a lot of uh, provision capacity. So, okay, okay. Oh, can we just have more camp space, please? <laughs> I want more than four buildings. Hang on, if we build this up, can we have another thing? Uh, number of domicile building slots, plus four. Boo, game, boo. Okay, no. So if even if we upgraded that, we don't get another sort of building slot just popping up somewhere. Okay, so we'd have to get rid of something. We would have to get rid of something. Um, I mean, yeah, that generates money. And it does help with plagues. Although there are less plagues around, I suppose, potentially. And that means our physician is a bit better. That's quite useful, actually. I think of all the things that we possibly could get rid of, it is a supply tent. But then at the minute, given that we're struggling for supplies, is that the best thing to do? Do you know what? We're going to have to leave it for now. Maybe when we enter the European leg, maybe we'll then think about changing that round. But okay, right, never mind. So we're over here. Where is our next point of interest? Where do we need to go next? So they're all sort of covered up. There's a thing down here now. <laughs> a point of interest has just popped up down here. There is the capital of the Kingdom of Azuran, which is a tribal court. That wasn't there when we visited that place. I think that's just sort of popped up. Oh, botherations. Okay, have other places appeared, by the way? Oh, no. <laughs> Me dog! Me dog's run off and it's gone over there. Okay, right, that's a bit unfortunate. And there's a place there. So, yeah, there's sort of, um, there's new kingdoms and things are formed. There are new realm capitals appearing, which means it's going to be very difficult for us to visit every single location, you know, a single point of interest. But we are going to try, gosh darn it. So, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go down here then, game. I see what you're doing. Oh, hang on. Are they having a fight down here? Possibly. How long is that going to take? Three months. Three months to go all the way down there, and then three months to get all the way back over here somewhere. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Have we got anything that can speed things up? Scout for talent slows things down. I don't think any of this is going to speed up. Oh, hang on. Higher mercenary guards. Travel speed up by 10. Okay, that might actually be worth doing. That might be worth doing. And travel safety, there's no danger. But just for the 10 speed, that might be worth doing. 228% speed, as opposed to 219% speed. Do you know what? It's only 20 money. And we have got 255. Let's hire some mercenary guards. And it's going to be a 1,000 provisions just to go and visit this random place. Okay. <laughs> Fine, fine. Okay, we're going to go down here, but we're not overly happy about it. We're going down here for the sake of your adventure and such. Although, the more we travel about, the more we're sort of picking up XP, which means we're closer to completing the whole of Body Tree, which means we're closer to going over to the new wandering lifestyle, which is all very exciting. So, okay, it's sort of, it's part of the journey, isn't it? Nurture. They say children react more than anyone else to the places they find themselves. It's fortunate for my daughter Jadzia that she finds herself in the company of the most learned scholars, eloquent diplomats and finest savants that I've been able to gather. A fine environment for a young girl to grow up in and one where she seems determined to take its many lessons to heart. So what could we do here? Such enthusiasm in one so young, she picks up all. A random trait. So temperate patient, calm, shy or stubborn, perhaps we consider another path. 96% chance that her diplomacy goes up by two. That's quite good. She's got stewardship education, but having more diplomacy is never a bad thing. Or we just tell her to stop it and she stresses out. And we, for some reason, gain prestige. Why wouldn't we get stressed out about that? That seems like a mean thing for a compassionate person to do. Um, I think... Perhaps we could consider another path and we try to instill a little wisdom to you know, her ourselves because, you know, we know a few things. We've been around. Geethan's seen a lot of stuff. So how about, yes, your diplomacy should hopefully, fingers crossed, 
go up by two. And it did. Okay, diplomacy of nine. Not too shabby at all. <gasps> and we have a daughter, another daughter. So Suhava, our sort of, you know, secondary wife, as it says down here, our secondary spouse, um, has given birth. Which is wonderful. Okie dokie. So uh, they've called the child uh, Banafsha by default, which is a very exciting, very lovely name. I've never seen that name before, but it's a very nice name. However, I think, yes, we need to uh, replace that with a suitably geeky name. Let's go for Wanda, shall we? That sounds quite good. Wanda Geek has a good ring to it. So yeah, Wanda, of course, named after Wanda Maximoff from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, WandaVision and Scarlet Witch and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think we shall go for Wanda. There you go. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter Wanda. Welcome to the world and congratulations, Sahava, on your first child because of course, yes, it's her first child. So there we go. Congratulations to you too. So that's quite a lovely thing to happen on the trip isn't it that's quite a nice thing and then we come down here right we've had a look around we pick up some martial lifestyle and a tiny bit of money which i think has paid for the sort of yeah the armed guards that are with us and now we're going to go away from here again uh talismans criminals fight corruption we're not interested in any of that okay all right now where do we go we have to take i think quite a lengthy journey to the next point of interest. Just check, there's no other sort of popped up down here. Okay, so the next one is just here. Okay, can we even get there without running out of food? It's gonna be 1,700, so just over half of the food we have left and six months of travel. Oh my goodness me. I mean, look, and that's only getting to there. I mean, if we sort of roughly try to calculate this, it's going to be, what, six months-ish to sort of get around here, maybe. And then six months of that. So that's a year, probably another year to cover these. Another six. So maybe sort of two and a half, two, two and a half years, maybe, to get over to Safax. I mean, that's quite the trek, isn't it? But do you know what? We need to do it. That's what we're here for. So, uh, yeah. Okay, get those mercenary guards back. Just, you know, maybe knock a few days off of the travel time and begin moving the camp again. And, um, yeah, right, here we go. Oh, inspiration realize. Ah, okay. Right, now, I am holding out a lot of hope for this, my good sir. So, yeah, uh, Kachik, you asked us for a giant pile of money to write this book. It was 300 money, which is a lot of cash. We could do an awful lot of stuff with 300 monies. So I'm hoping that this is very good. I mean, you're calling it a masterpiece. It contains modest observations and plain illustrations detailing the anatomy of the human body. The cover is wood that has been painted to display a repeating image of a majestic bird. I mean, maybe a person would have been better. Okay, right, I'm, I have high hopes for this. It had better be amazing. A famed journal. Okay, so learning, up by one, a small health boost, a tiny bit of prestige, as all these things tend to be, and monthly learning lifestyle, up by 15%. Oh, that's quite good. That is actually quite good. Hang on, so does that count as a journal? Um, yes, it counts as one of those, doesn't it? I was kind of thinking maybe it was a trinket or something, but no, it is a journal. Okay, okay, that's fine. So do we give that to somebody else. Hang on, that's learning plus one. Ah, yes, okay, the metaphysical that we're looking at now, that gives us all oh, learning lifestyle experience up by 20%. So we get a little bit more learning lifestyle from the one we've got now. Maybe what we'll do is when we've completed, oh, hang on, no, but when we've completed the thing, um, completed the whole of body tree, we're going over to that one there, aren't we? Because that's a medium health boost. Okay, so I think then, let's give this to somebody else. It's very good and it's very shiny. Who would like this? <laughs> have all of our children got books and things? I suppose Wanda has them, but we don't know what Wanda's going to be like. Uh, also, Wanda... I don't know, can Wanda have artifacts? If we give... <laughs> if we give, like, a one-month-old that exciting tome, is that going to help... Or is she just going to try and chew the corners and you know, dribble on it or whatever? Because yeah, she's only one month old. That's kind of what they do. Um, I don't know. Uh, Leia's got, yeah, Leia's got the fancy thing. The, the sort of, yeah, the journals of Geeth and Geek, whatever it was. The travels. So she's got that. 
Um, Zeusia has got something as well, I'm fairly sure. We gave you a nice thing. Yeah, a sort of court politics book. Um, yeah, you've got something. Jadzia's got, yes, a law and ordinance book. Thrilling. So yeah, Wanda. Well, let's give that to Wanda, shall we? Let's give that to Wanda. Let's give you a lovely gift. Oh, hang on. Who are we educating? Oh, that's a good point, isn't it? Who are we educating? We can be educating two people. So Jadzia and Zelda. That is an issue because then we cannot educate um, Luna. Oh, yeah. I think I did set somebody to become Luna's ward. Um, yeah. So we've got Obiyama as Luna's guardian. So, yeah, uh, not ward. I got the wrong around. But, yeah, so they're educating their own child as such. Uh, so, yeah. So, Harva, how about you educate Wanda? So, yes. So, Harva should be pretty good at that, I would have thought. Because, you know, she is a smart cookie, is Suhava. Um, if I can find her in this list anywhere. Um, hang on, where would she be? There she is, like that. So, yeah, she could do that, please. That would be brilliant. So, yes, Wanda, become your mother's ward. And, uh, yes, yeah, Suhava, become the guardian of your child. There we go. Okay, good. So now she's being educated too. Um, yeah, do we give her that thing then? Let's give her a gift. Here you go. We shall gift you an artifact. <laughs> it is. Or do we wait until we see what her education thing is going to be? Because she might benefit from the stewardship one rather than the learning lifestyle one. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Okay, so we'll wait a little while. We won't give a one month old a big fancy expensive book thing just yet. And okay, the journey continues. We are making good progress through here. Plenty in common. Okay, so Tortugal and Barman are getting on. That's very good. Yep, encourage that friendship. We're absolutely fine with that. We like our sort of uh, campmates getting on. And now we've got travel, a cultural fascination. Ever since entering Gumuz, I've been treated much like an animal in a spectacular garden. The people stare in amazement at the mere way I speak and carry myself. I mean, maybe, Geethan. Maybe it's what you're wearing, because I imagine it might be quite outlandish around here. If that's what people are wearing, sort of, you know, on a regular basis, and you're wearing this. <laughs> I mean, this is majestic and wonderful and beautiful. I mean, the hat alone is worth staring in amazement at, let alone everything else. So maybe that's why they're looking at you, because you are sticking out a bit like a gigantic sore thumb. But okie doke, as we make our way through, I am suddenly approached by a peculiar and enthusiastic man who, unlike the rest of the crowd, seems to speak Iranian. My word, so it's true. A Tajik duchy here of all places. I have long of my Tajik customs, and I've even learned Iranian in my own time. What an honour it is. The honour is all yours. <laughs> that doesn't seem very humble and very geeth and your Teach me about your people. Okay, so we could start a learn language scheme against that person. And what language are we learning, though? Iranian? Is that what we're learning, or do we speak Iranian already? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know we speak Iranian. We can learn 12 languages. I mean, it does seem like the most Geethan of all the things. Yeah, absolutely. Let's start a learn language scheme. And we're possibly going to learn, well, Sudanic then, I imagine. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Then the scheme will begin with a large bonus. Okay, good. I mean, that's something to do whilst we're traveling, isn't it? That's something to occupy our time. Just sort of, you know, learn a language as we go. That makes sense. And we are still flying through. Okay. I mean, yeah, there have been quite a lot of events popping up recently, but we appear to be sort of, you know, pootling on relatively untroubled by things. We might need to stop over here at some point. I see we can do the gather sort of provisions thing again, which is quite good. Learning from example. Ah, here we go. Here we go. We get to pick which person Jadzia gets to follow around to pick up some skills. Okay, so do we go for my second in command, which of course is Leia. So Diplomacy will go up by two, Marshall goes up by two, and she follows her sister around. Uh, Quartermaster is Stewardship up by two, Cook is Intrigue. I think Jadzia is going down a Stewardship focus, so it makes sense for her to learn about Stewardship. So although she only gets two skill points there, rather than the four she'd get from going to see Leia, I think that's the right thing to do. So yeah, go and hang around with the Quartermaster. Namala Devi... Please teach Jadzia all about quartermastering, quartermastery, whatever. Whatever your job is, do the thing, please. And we're here 
at the Sultanate of Sao. Sao. Right. Okay, we have arrived at our first big destination. Okay, there are two boundary disputes right next to us. There's three. There are three. This is majestically wonderful. Okay, go and do this one nice and quick. Oh, I didn't I didn't uh, sort of uh, bother the other patron back where we were early, did I? I didn't go grab some money off them. Okay, so not that. Six days away. <laughs> this is very easy. Okay. Um... And it's the one where the walls are in a bad state. And we can pick up another point of prowess to offset the prowess we're losing due to old age. I mean, we're losing minus 10 prowess due to our age, which is quite a lot. So, we're, yeah, these are quite good, actually. I like these kind of wall repair ones because it does at least give us a teeny tiny boost to our prowess. So, yeah, we'll do that one. We get the money, we get the provisions, which is very important. And, of course, yeah, we can then call upon them as a person on our role of patrons to get a bit more money. But I think we should be okay to do that all at the end. So let's go and do this one. That's eight days worth of travel. Get this done. And it is, oh, there you go. It's a sort of a different boundary thing that this landmark's got. And uh, yeah, let's do that. 26 money. Thank you so much. Back we go. And then go and do this one <laughs> because it just makes sense. 22 days. A little bit longer than the other trips, but still not too bad. Another local landmark one. Okay, do you know? Oh, a chance for enlightened debate, you say? Oh, that's 625 provisions. Oh, I missed that. Oh, botherations. Okay, possibly should have read these. That's more provisions. Okay, right. Yeah, we'll do that one then. Uh, and there we go. Another happy patron. We shall head back home. Have any other contracts appeared? Um, Perform... Performing a play? What? <laughs> performing a play? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Can we go and perform in a play, please? <laughs> I've not seen that one before. Is that new? Is that a new thing that's been added? Because yeah, we've been playing for a while now. We've travelled around many places and we've seen many contracts. I don't think we've seen performing a play, have we? Okay. This is exciting. Uh, first things first. Hang on. Let, let me not. I'm getting too giddy about performing in a play. Let's go and get some stuff off these people. So get five gold. Thank you. And you get 17 gold. That's not so bad. And you, we will get 34 gold. Yeah. Okay. We'll have that. That's very nice. Right up to 416 gold. Um, and I notice, yes, one of our, um, one of our people has become inspired. Okay. You, oh, 50 money. That's fine. Yeah. To write about intrigue, you can have 50 money. That's okay. Your skill is decent, but we encourage this. We encourage creative writing of all kinds. Um, okay, let's go down here and perform in a play. <laughs> Although, actually, should we possibly go and gather some, uh, gather some provisions first? That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Let's get this done right now. So, yeah, not nettle soup again. Uh, step outside my camp. I survey the surrounding dry land, seeking any sign of game or fodder. Um, Bagwermi should treat as well. The dry lands are full of life, and one need only take the proper time and care to find food here. Okay, right. Akama. Akama, now is your time. Although, actually, hang on. Hang on. Are we... I think if we set our own snares we have a higher chance of bringing in some more food. So if we say I can find us things to eat, there's a sort of a 50-50 chance, more or less, of having 515 food or 343. With snares, there's a 42% chance that we get over 1,000 provisions, 48% chance that we get 687, and there's a tiny percentage that we get injured. Um, and that one there, a karma's, is 601 or 429? Uh, or my hunter will trap us some game, but we have no huntsman. Hang on, why are you not as good anymore? Uh, oh, right. Hang on, Akama, are you infirm by any chance? Yes, you are. Oh, good. <laughs> I seem to recall, what, two or three videos ago saying, oh, I need to keep an eye on this, and I have not done that. Botherations. Okay, and now we can't change her, of course, because it won't change this event. Okay, right. So, yes, if she had a higher aptitude, she could have bought in a lot of extra stuff. But because her aptitude is terrible, because she is infirm, then, yes, this is not going to work quite so well. Ah, 
Okay, right. Uh, with my snares, I shall feed us all. There is a tiny percentage chance that we get injured. A little percentage chance that we don't find anything. But hopefully we should find something. And we got wood. <laughs> Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, right. So it turns out that we are utterly awful at gathering provisions. <laughs> the one thing that we sort of need to do. And we are just really bad at it. So last time we tried to gather provisions, the um, our chief forager got injured. And this time we've given it a go and we've got injured. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, okay, right. So we can't do that again for another five years or whatever it is. Um, right, let's put somebody else in, shall we? Um, Kajik. Yeah, you can do that, please. You can become the new forager. Thank you. Um, okay, that's gone a bit weird. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, successful wound treatment we lost the trait wounded oh my goodness me suhava suhava that was uh, that was incredible suhava <laughs> you've just you've just healed us we got injured and within moments within a day or two you've healed us back up that is completely fantastic well done thank you so much that is amazing um okay Right, so we're still going to be a bit hungry, <laughs> but let's go down here and perform in a play, shall we? This is going to be amazing. Okay, uh, in fact, hang on, is it worth moving the entire camp down here? Is it worth shifting everybody down here? Um, where are the other points of interest? Oh, we need to go up there first. Uh, no, okay, no, we will just go and do the contract. It's fine. We'll go and get this sorted. So, okay. Um, yeah, travel along 22 days. Oh, this is going to be exciting. <laughs> Keithan's going to be on stage. I think he did a thing before. Did he not really sort of perform against somebody else who wrote a play? Right. Performing a play. The market square of Bindir is busier than ever, with a troop of singers doing preparations. A wooden sword? One of the children leans over the dais. I never said the word dais. Dais. Making disgusted face. The alerted peasants quickly join her. Is this the best that our ladyship has to offer? But the mumbling ends as soon as Chima... Chidibe Gumsu enters the square, stopping a horse before me. An easy windfall, wouldn't you say? Just need to press these peasants. Okay, is that you? Ah, okay. So you are the superstar performer that everybody is apparently quite excited about. Okay, let's make it the easiest windfall. So that's the success chance. Ah, success chance 30%, maximum 30%. Okay, that's not going to help too much. The sooner the better is a speed thing. This ought to be fun. A balanced range. I mean, let's make sure that we succeed because we don't want to put on a bad play. So let's just do that one, shall we? Um, auto fill and yeah, there we go. Right, this is going to take a while. <laughs> the people are better be patient for their play. But um, yeah, okay, right, fine. A few people again in the comments have said that whilst this is going on, we can potentially do some other things, but... Um, I'm not entirely sure that we can do other stuff because we can't leave here, of course, can we? Because we're down here. We're participating in this play. So I don't quite know how we can go and do something else. But yeah, people in the comments have said that we can you know, go and visit other places or whatever. But uh, it's fine. It's okay for now. We're just going to sort of hang around for this bit. So we need to get another, after this is done, just another two key thingamajiggers, another two advantages, and then it'll be sorted. Every parent's duty. <gasps> it's this time again. It's Jadzia's time to learn how to ride a bike, but not a bike because it's Yodi time. So she's learning how to ride a horse. Okay. So, yep, she's a bit worried. She's sitting down on the small pony. The easiest, most placid learn amount I could find in the entire camp. Okay, then I'll just kick her into a trot and... And we're going to go like this one. We're going to choose, remember, be firm, but respectful. 96% chance that it works. Come on, don't get injured. And there you go. I'm doing it, Dad. I'm doing it. Ah, I do like that one. That's an exciting thing. Yet another sort of lovely father-daughter moment there, which is nice. Okay, so six days into the next phase. And we get to pick a new perk. Okay, I mean, we've only got one choice. Mental resilience. Time between mental breaks. An additional three years. Okie doke, yep, yeah, we shall have that. And, um, oh, hang on, where's my thing gone? Uh, that one there. Yes, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, we've got ourselves 30-something days to wait until the next phase. And then, yeah, 
the success chance is at 100% now, which is pretty good. So we're going to put on a pretty good play, which is just very exciting. So, okay, yep, yeah, let's seize the moment. Let's perform in a play, everybody. So it was a success. Oh, look at Keith. <laughs> He's got his sort of sword saber thing out. People are clapping. So, um, yeah, we've got some prestige. we got 452 provisions. Oh, you make progress in the champion of the lion decision. Ooh, okay, hang, hang on. Let me read this thing first. And then he slew a ferocious hyena. The drums grow louder as I make my way through the stage, trying to remember every play that I've ever watched. With my weapon lifted above my head, I attack the colourful puppet. <laughs> okay, so we're sort of you know, doing a piñata type thing. The head rolls off the stage. Okay, Geethan has a thing for chopping off heads. Okay. Um, and the audience erupts in loud cheering. Sitting on the elevated dais, Chima Chidibe Gumsu nods. Oh! Oh, I see. No, we were putting on the play for you. Oh, I thought you were starring in the play with us. But no, you're sort of... You're being entertained by the play. Okay. This is brilliant. Okay, so what happens if the a place does put on a play? They get popular opinion up by 20. Oh, that's quite good. And then, yeah, we've gained all these things, which is fantastic. Okay, so we will head back home. Head over here. In fact, hang on. Was that a different person to somebody we already seen? Oh, I think it was them. I think we already have requested money from them, which is possibly a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Right, we'll go back over here. Let's nip into the castle holding. Um, okay, thinking of something else. Has a town crier. That's hireling. That's just a card. That's intrigue. Okay, not so bothered about that. Um, right, and maybe I can sell some artifacts. The Book of Tajik Chivalry. Uh, are that, yeah, that excellent making gold one. Could we get rid of that? Are we wearing that signet ring? I think, are we not wearing the signet ring? Um, hang on a minute. Where are we? Uh, move these out of the way. Yeah, we're using that. Um, we've got the detailed maps. Hang on. So the excellent making gold monthly stewardship lifestyle up by 10%. I think potentially we could get rid of that because it doesn't do lots of other things. We can live without that. So how much money would we get from that? So we could potentially up that to 63 money or it could come down to 40 at the moment they're selling it for. Um, hang on. Where is it? That one there is 53. So we could try and get an extra 10 money for it. Do you know what? Let's give that a go, shall we? Let's give it a go. And okay. Right. So excellent making gold. We can now sell for 63 money. And yeah, somebody else will get a better use for it than us. So absolutely. Somebody else have that. Who wrote that? Oh, Peranankai wrote that. Okay, so Peranankai, you are funding our travels a bit further. Well done. So, okay, get some money for that. Up to 445 monies. Um, and then, supplies are this way. Okay, shall we try and turn on the charm again? Because we know that we need the provisions to carry on our tour. So, if we could maybe get... 1,680 of them. That would be quite good. 83% chance it's going to work. And it did. Okay, we're up to 4,700. That is not too shabby. Uh, let's go and visit the locals. Go and do the story thing. We can't do those. We can do this one, though. We can do that story option again. Uh, let's see what happens. Exotic Marshall. I don't know what it does. It doesn't tell us. But okay, that's fun. Um... Oh my, who is that? Okay, so there is an enchantress over here. Um, oh, what's that thing there? Bori, an unreformed house and faith. Okay, we consider them hostile. They consider us evil. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's going to work, Key. Uh, no, we'll leave them there. Um, who is up for recruitment? Anybody completely exceptional? Uh, no, and no. And no, not really. Not particularly. Um, okay, not to worry. Let's go to the castle. Um, anybody in here that we could recruit? You have a prowess of nine and you have a prowess of seven. Okay, do you know what? Would anybody like to play some dice? Uh, and we lost, but never mind. Not to worry. Uh, okay, right, there we go. A flying visit to the uh, sort of castle thing over there. Um, let's go and carry on the journey because we're going to have to hurry things up if we want to complete this African tour. So, uh, yeah, let's go over there, look. 
That's 18 days. So I head over. That's only 300 provisions. That's nice and simple. Also, there is water here. There is water. Could we go fishing? Are we allowed to go fishing? Um, it needs to be on a coastal or riverside barony. Uh, oh, I see. Ah, they're not by the by the sea, but they are. Okay. Does that? How do you figure out if it's coastal? I mean, it looks coastal to me. There's a lake there. Whether that lake has fish in it or not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, where are we going next? Where is the next point of interest? So it is down here. Okay, so if we stop, say, in here somewhere, that's next to the sea. So if we move here for hardly anything, nine days of travel. So shifty over here nice and quick. Boop. Are we now near? No. Requires your camp to be in a coastal or riverside barony. So that doesn't count as coastal. Um, how do we find out whether it is coastal or riverside? Does it tell us in here? Is it a terrain type of a thing? Floodplains. I mean, that would imply there's a river. But then we are going to have to go back out of our... Hang on, here's, there's floodplains here. Um, we're, on, know, we're on dry lands. Uh, can we move to here? Because that seems to be floodplain. And there's got to be fish over there. <laughs> 22 provisions. Right, we're over there. Can we now go fishing? No. Okay, right. It doesn't quite work like that. There's some water there, but the game isn't happy about that. Never mind. Right, let's carry on moving, shall we? So I think, yeah, we head down here. Look, maybe what we'll do is we'll go to here. Let's go to this place and then we'll swing by the other two en route. So we'll swing by this and by there. Oh, there is some oh, potential plague potential germs going on around here. Um, okay, right, hang on. How bad are the germs? How bad is this over here? Oh, bother rations. It's literally right where we want to go. So, typhus. 36 fatalities since December 1102. Okay, so a year and a... Oh yeah, a year and a half-ish. 36 fatalities. It's, it's literally right where we want to go. <laughs> that is preposterous game. Okay, right. Maybe then we will go here. Was that a point of interest? No, the, the point of interest is right in the middle of the germs. <laughs> um, right, let's go here. I'm going to travel here and see if the germs are gone by the time we get there. Let's do that, please. Yeah, everybody come down here and let's just hope that the germs have gone. Uh, learn language. Pleasant prattle. Okay, as we pass through the tribe of Yao, a jubilant local approaches my entourage. His smile stretches from ear to ear. I discern that he is offering a warm welcome, but the finer aspects of his speech are sadly lost on me. Be that as it may, I wave away my attentive companions and return his joyful greeting. I can hardly imagine a more excellent chance to practice my Sudanic. Okay. So, pleasant conversation, feeling feisty, join us on the journey. Uh, okay, Mug. <laughs> so, you could join us, but you're not much good, to be honest. So, okay, we'll have a feisty conversation, 91% chance that it works, and we have an engaging debate, which, again, does seem like something that Geethan would do. Yeah, we like a nice sort of debate, we like a nice discussion about things. Right, so, if you get down here, okay, ooh. Instructor of Knights. Oh, hang on. We didn't look at what that thing was. What was the thing we got in here? Champion of the Tajik culture. What was it? Champion of the Lion. What was the thing that we already had some stuff toward? <laughs> we had a few. Oh, this thing here. Yeah, the Champion of the Lion. Oh, okay. That's interesting. But yeah, did we pick up something for that or not? I'm not entirely sure. Um. Okay. So, yeah, what was that then? Martial or prowess contracts of no criminal nature. Should we train up some knights? We could do that. More provisions, a big pile of money if it works, and we're on site, so it's fine. Yeah, let's do that, please. As I arrive, I'm greeted by Oba Ooh, Enwiliana oh, of Igbo Benway's Marshal Chike. <laughs> it's like I'm speaking code. I'm glad you could make it. We're in need of an expert in the ways of war. Uh, 
I might have read about it, as our commanders are rather unschooled. Marshal Cheek bows his head and quickly adds, at least according to our liege. Well, I would be pleased to invite you in, but my Ober expects you to begin training immediately. Pick whomever you wish and have them armed. Okay, let me see those people. I don't want this contract. Have we done this before? Open the train knight's character interaction. Have we done this? I can't recall if we've done this, but okay, let's give this a go. So who are we training? Do we pick one person or many people? Do we need to sort of train a certain number of people? Can we sort them in order of prowess? So we'll accept Nana... Hang on. Chike. Weren't we just talking to you? <laughs> Weren't we talking to you? Okay. So we've got a chance to increase prowess or learn a commander trait. I mean, I kind of feel like we're not the best person to do this in terms of our own... Oh, actually, to be fair. Marshal 27, prowess 26. It's not Geethan's natural habitat doing military stuff but he's read a lot about it so yeah he's got a lot of knowledge about such a thing um okay let's train you up then to know what i'm dealing with i invite nana chike of bauchi to spar with leia okay hopefully leia doesn't get injured because that'd be a bit silly wouldn't it they take their stances awaiting an opening chike's guard weakens first allowing in a few but precise blows from leia's spear he has trouble even staying standing. Looks like this will be a rather long lesson. <laughs> I stop the bout before it gets bloody. Thank you for your efforts, GK. I have seen enough to know how to proceed with your teachings. Okay, so we could teach him the Desert Warrior trait, but there's a 76% chance that happens. Leia could do some, some work with him, but that's only a 53% chance that something happens. Or follow my moves... His prowess goes up by four, but again, there's a 42% chance that might not work. Um, how about we teach him how to be a desert warrior? Um, because, you know, that might be handy. Although, actually, this part of the world isn't deserty. It's jungly, isn't it? Okay, no, we won't do that then, because that might not be overly useful. This dry land's not far away, though. There are dry lands over here. Possibly that would be useful. In case they go and attack people over here or whatever. Do you know what? Let's see if we can get you the Desert Warrior skill. 76% chance and you've picked it up. Okay, train knights. Okay, you. Train you. Uh, ah, right, okay. So Leia again is doing some fighting. Okie dokie. So do we want that person? I could use someone like this myself. <laughs> With the prowess of three. No. No, Geethan. Okay, 83% chance that he... Picks up Desert Warrior. Yep, okay, do that. Nope, he fails. And the last person is you, teaching him rough terrain expert. Um, ah, 82% chance that he'll learn it. And yeah, we might get... Oh, we get the money and the provisions and everything else. Oh yeah, do that then, please. Are we... <laughs> we had some rotten luck with those two things there. That was not very good, was it? But uh, okay, oh, the contract failed. The contract failed. So I don't think we got paid. Oh, botherations. Okay, that was a little bit unfortunate, wasn't it? Um, oh, tutoring a child is also quite a good thing to do. Let's move over here. We'll shuffle our camp over here uh, whilst waiting for the germs to go away. 224 provisions, but that's fine. We're not doing artifact delivery. <laughs> and, ah. Here we go. This person has finished their book. Uh, it's an ornate tome that shows a modest understanding of intrigue. Oh, crikey, as it touches upon subjects such as a small sinister... Hang on, what? Such as a small sinister book with a black leather cover containing detailed drawings of plants and step-by-step -step richly illustrated instructions for preparing a wide selection of po uh, poisons. Oh, crikey's. Okay. So it's a, it's a poisony, murdery kind of a book. Okay. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm slightly scared of you now, but okay, fine. And we've learnt a new language. Okay, let's send a letter to the suffragan bishop Theodoros of Kyrgyz. And it will probably work. Okay, right, so we know another language, because of course we do. <laughs> the more the better. Um, and then let's... Okay, let's tutor a child whilst we're here, because again, this is nice and easy. We know this one. So, um, Titileo. Hello there, Titileo. Six years old. Okay, this could be quite the challenge then, because, yeah, she, uh, they're, they're a bit younger. 
She's a bit younger than the other ones we've talked, but okay. Uh, right, so we're in some lovely gardens. That's very nice. Uh, suddenly, the young Yoruba girl gets a wild look in her eye and starts shouting, the bandits are coming. And Illy giggles her head off as she runs back and forth with her attendant. Okay, <laughs> so we can't do this one because we haven't got to follow with certain skills. We could try and do this. So yeah, plus one to our learning score. Right, okay, that's good. We've done one of the things, this is fine. Ooh, Suhava wants to write about scholarly matters. 300 money. Oh, Suhava. <laughs> it's nice, a big pile of money. I was gonna do exciting things. I was gonna re sort of jig our camp a little bit eventually, but okay, because it's you, Suhava. We will sponsor this. You did just like help us recover. You healed our wound up. So yeah, all right, fine. There you go. <laughs> the money comes in, the money goes out again. Never mind. Right, let's continue educating this child. Wherever the next thing is. Um. Oh, somebody wants us to do some fighting. We're going to decline because we're not here to do that. Negotiate joining wars. I don't want to join it. We need provisions. Okay, if we join in the war, we would fill up our provisions, but it does mean we have to go and join in a war. And we're not really, we're not really like that. We're readers, not fighters. We don't want to join at all. They're going to be a bit grumpy with us, but we're not interested. We're not swords for hire, so I don't quite know why you think we'd join in, but okay. Um, where's the next bit of the tutor child thing? Ah, here we go. Right, the art of self-defense. Okay, so we're at the market by the look of it. Um, I immediately begin spotting the various dangerous angles for which we could be ambushed, something I should teach Titileo about. Then, out of thin air, a large Basenji, is that a dog, is running up to the child, desperate to play. The girl shrieks with joy and immediately starts playing with the dog, which is fine because she's six. <laughs> okay, so we could do that because we've got high prowess, 95% chance that that works. Yeah, let's give that a go then. We can't do that one because we haven't got to follow with a high enough prowess, but we're okay. So 95% that worked. Come on, give us this last one. We've tended to fail on the last bits of contracts recently. A harsh judgment. Oh, this is Jadzia. This is Jadzia. Okay, back to uh, teaching our own child. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my daughter Jadzia what she thought. She responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Okay, so she's got just, we could make her become cynical, or we could make her temperate. I feel like we would let her keep just, because it does seem that a lowly thief being sort of executed is a bit harsh, and Geethan would know about this. He would be wise to such things with Geethan. So do you know what, yeah, the punishment did indeed not fit the crime, and she keeps just. Okie dokie, right, so let's just take time on. Here we go, into the final bit of our teaching. As we reconvene, Titileo tilts her head while I summarise the topic of our last session. The alley is brimming with activity, merchants moving briskly between squares, and as we stroll on the path, I keep a watchful eye on our surroundings, a skill Titileo should be privy to. When I turn around, the girl has stopped dead in her tracks, intently expecting an arm-sized stick she found on the ground, as she is thoroughly unresponsive to my calls. <laughs> and Tanine is here to help. Okay, so the chief cook could help out. 89% chance of success that Tanine sort of you know, chips in. Um, 67%, 97%. Okay, we will do a learning challenge and hope it works. Hooray, it worked. Okay. <laughs> And there you go, right. Uh, well, your unconventional methods are seemingly very successful. Young Titolo is already showing signs of more discerning thoughts and ideas. Yeah, okay, right, there you go. It was all her 1,810 provisions and nearly 100 money. Absolutely perfect, yes. That was very good. And can we also call upon you to get a little bit more money? No, <laughs> you haven't got enough gold because I imagine we've just taken the last of your gold off you. You've gone to minus 19 money. Okay, right, never mind, never mind. Um, boundary dispute, we could do that nice and quick. I imagine that's, oh, that is, oh, that's 26 days away. Okay, that's further than I thought. How are the germs? How are the germs? They Oh, they've gone. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, right, good. <laughs> we can get back on track. So I think it was up here, wasn't it? It was there where we were heading. 
and we'll swing by here on the way. Just make sure nothing else has popped up whilst we've been going around. Um, yeah, okay, right, customise the route. Swing by here, please. Uh, yeah, okay, start moving the camp. Provisions are looking good, so uh, yeah, let's get a bit of a wriggle on and yeah, carry on the African tour. Okay, Leo wants to go hunting with us, and we're aiming at a rabbit again. I think we've done this already, Leo, when you were little. I'm fairly sure that we did this when you were significantly younger than you are now. But okay, so she wants to have a bit of a wager on this. So there's a 91% chance that we win and Leia pays us 50 money. She hasn't got 50 money <laughs> or I don't have time for this, but I don't think we'd back down. I don't think we'd back down at all. So do you know what? 91% chance that this works. Let's give it a go. And it did work. Hooray. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Leia. Leia's now got minus 100 gold. <laughs> okay, right. Maybe we need to teach our daughter you know, about the value of money and such like, because, uh, yeah, she's quite poor now. And you know, that doesn't really help, does it? That's not particularly handy, because at some point we might end up playing as Leia and we're going to start with a bit of a financial deficit going on. But okay, right. We've picked up many, many more learning lifestyle things, all sorts of its intrigue and learning and such. Okie dokie, what's convivial following? Um, oh, okay. Suhava and Barman the Sluggard are getting on. Okay, hopefully not yep, too well, but yeah, that's nice. Um, boundary dispute, how far away is that? Again, 24 days. Is it because it's all hilly? It's all sort of hilly around here. Right, where's the next location then? Where do we need to go next? We'll just click that for now. Up here. Okay, let's make our way to here then. Um, it looks like, yeah, we've got to cross a bridge at some point over here. But let's head over to the University of Sankor. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a fun place to go. We like visiting universities. Let's go there, shall we? Um, uh, yeah, is it worth doing that thing there? And then going from there? Do you know what? We'll go here. So move the camp there first, because we might as well. We'll complete this for a tiny bit of money and some provisions. Um, yeah, it's a pasture thing for the local sort of horses grazing land situation. Uh, we'll do that. 27 money and 415 provisions. Thank you so much. Another happy patron. <laughs> we know what the deal is now. Give us some gold, please. 14 gold. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, right back over here we go to the University of Sankor. Right, okay, Jadzia is having a little bit of a moment. She's not happy about having to travel about all the time, and she's got quite frustrated with it all. So, like, we're just animals roaming from place to place with no palaces, no castles, not even proper beds. I didn't ask this poverty, and I deserve better. Through the screaming and the outrage, I can see that my daughter's frustration is real. Okay, so she's not putting it on. She genuinely is very sad about this whole situation. I think we have seen this before. We saw this with Leia, I think, when Leia was about this age. So, you know, it's a thing we can deal with, I believe. So we could say, come here, uh, fair, you're a geek, stand up straight. I know, but it is what it is. Or just leave her to her tantrum, which sounds like a terrible idea. I think let's go for that one. Come here, my girl. It'll be all right. Diplomacy challenge and the yeah, 96% chance that she calms down. And if that does work... She gets a diplomacy lifestyle perk. She loses stress. However, if it doesn't work, there's a 3% chance it might not work. And within that 3% chance, there is then a 35% chance that we gain melancholic because our daughter is so sad, it's making us sad. So let's give this a go. I think, oh, she's picked up 60 stress. But then, yeah, if this works, she can then lose 50 stress. Okay, so come here, my girl. It'll be all right. Let's have a nice hug. Let's hug it out, shall we? And thankfully, yes, she calms down. Wonderful. So there you go. That's all been sorted. Phew. Because, yeah, that could go quite horribly wrong, couldn't it? And then here we go. Over to a university. Okie doke. More learning lifestyle. We'll spend a few days here, I think. Let's spend about a week here-ish. There we go. So you've had time to look around Geethans, explore the university. That's all good. Right, next. Where to next on the grand tour of looking at all the interesting things? Uh, I mean, look how long we've been travelling. And we've only sort of gone around here. Oh, what? <laughs> what is this doing here? Jalib? No, Jalib. No, outrageous behaviour, Jalib. So the place over here is gone. So the place we did visit has now gone. And now a new place is over here. 
Ah, oh, dearie me. Okay. <laughs> are those? Oh, there's like oh, there's loads of places. Oh, there's a place just here. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. We will get this done. Right now, we do have a bit of a choice to make here. I think we need to go over here to look at these mining pits, then back out to here to look at the gold mining settlement, then to there, and then to there. The only thing is, I don't think we need to hang around. So we will plot a course, I think. Set a course for just here. So we're going to go to just there, please. And we're going to see if we customise our route a bit. So we want to go via here. So we're going to go up there. Look at that. That's nice. And then after that, we want to go and look at that. And after that, we want to go over there. So we cover off four points of interest. The one up there first, then down here, then the capital of the Kingdom of Ghana, and then over here to some more mining pits. Okay, so it's going to be, yeah, there's going to be a lot of looking at mines, which is exciting. Is it exciting? I don't know. Seven months of travel. If we pop in the mercenary guards, does that help? 228% speed to 90. Do you know what? It does a little bit. It'll move us around slightly quicker. So, uh, and, oh, it's, it's too many provisions. We can't do it. It's going to, we're going to be out. Oh, botherations. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. This does make things complicated. I think then we set a course for down here and hang on a minute. Customize route. Um, scoot by there first. So that's 3,880. That's almost all of our provisions gone. Right, okay, again, change of plan. We're going to go over here because we have to go here. 49 days. Yeah, it's because I imagine we're travelling through a desert. So I guess it takes up quite a lot of our um, resources. So 49 days. What if we hire the mercenary guards? 48 days. Not really worth it. Okay, never mind. And now it's going up to 50 days. <laughs> Wait, well. No, 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 no. That's not how numbers work, game. That's like now 49 days again. Okay. We're going to have to try and get something from in here. Okay, right, let's move the camp up here then. Oh, I thought we were going to have a wonderful, easy trip over there, but unfortunately not. No, that wasn't to be, because it turns out you need quite a lot of provisions to move through a desert, which, you know, in hindsight, is no great surprise. Right, okay, look at that. We're at a mining pit. Isn't that exciting? Yay! <laughs> we have gained 20 money, though, from looking at the exciting mining pit. The door to my tent opens and Mistress Suhava stands right in front of me. With a subtle bow, she starts, I apologise for interrupting you, my lord, but I bring news that may be of your interest. I was resting at the Three Tons, drinking with a group that revealed themselves as servants of Emir Abu Bakr. Okay, so I imagine that's the rule of the land where we are. They had no qualms about talking about their liege. What of him, I asked, and managed to learn of his secret for your benefit. Okay, a secret would make an excellent story. I mean, we're going to pick that, of course. We're going to learn of his secret and then write a poem about it. <laughs> because of course we are. So, uh, yeah, we pick up the secret. We get inspired by life for 15 years. So attraction opinion goes up and maximum personal schemes goes up by one as well. And we lose a big pile of stress. I mean, I'm not even going to do any of these things. Because that's just precisely what Geetham would do. He'd write a poem about it. So yeah, okay, right, that's fine. Um, and he's a non-believer, apparently. Well, isn't that exciting? Okay, right, we're over here. We can't do that until October of next year. We can't gather provisions, <laughs> which are no doubt injurers again. Um, is everybody still looking good at their jobs? Is everybody okay? Yeah, good, right, that's splendid news. Um, right, let's go to here thinking of something else. Supplies are this way. We can do this again. Okay, 83% chance that we could potentially... Oh, but look at that. If we do that... No, but hang on. That's going to be way too many provisions. We can't hold 7,200. It's going to be a bit of a waste of money. Um, let's do that. 1,809 provisions, if it works, which it did. Okay, right. That's not so bad. So let's head back. Um, let's go. Hang on. Story. Let's go and listen to a story. That story had a few good points. We got exotic learning. That's exciting. Uh, I'm not going to recruit anybody because I don't think we particularly need anybody. Or oh, is there somebody exceptional? Uh, oh, oh, hang on. 
renowned physician. Okay, yes, all right, I'm interested. Uh, Afalku, you are a trusting, generous, calm person. Afalku, you can come with us. 124 money, it's expensive, but I think you're a good addition, actually. The more people that can heal us up and do doctory stuff, the better. So, yes, welcome aboard, and we'll pop over to the castle. Anybody exceptional at fighting? Absolutely not. Anybody want a round of dice? We lost, but not to worry, we often do. Right, so now I think we've got 4,200 provisions. So can we make our way to wherever it was over here again? Where was it? Uh, here. Can we get to just here now with the provisions we have if we make some detours? Because we want to detour down here, please. <laughs> so can we go to here? That's going to be 3,400. And then after that, can we go to there? 3,300. Okay, that'll leave us with about a thousand provisions left when we get to over here. Yep, okay, right, fine, start moving the camp. Another five-month journey is on the way. And, oh, hang on a second. Okay, so, uh, Suhava, Suhava is saying, hey, anyone special to you? I want to write a name into the book. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we could say to our secondary wife, hey, please, uh, that book you're working really hard on, please dedicate it to my main wife. <laughs> Let's not do that this time. Only the enlightened guides me. There's no need for a dedication. Let's go for that one. I feel like that's going to be a little bit rude to Sahara if we tell her to dedicate her book to our main wife. <laughs> so that there's no need for a dedication. It's fine. Don't you worry about it. And we can now get healthy a medium boost to health, which is wonderful. And that means, of course, now we only have the one perk left before we complete our learning lifestyle and move into the wandering lifestyle, which is going to be very exciting. However, we do need to get this done. So it's going to take us... I don't know how long it takes, actually. Uh, 22 months. So I think, yeah, maybe, possibly by the time we're over here, that might be, yeah, that's going to be about a couple of years, I think. So, uh, yeah, okay, right, let's get moving, shall we, on the next leg of our big African journey. Right, so Harva's finished her book that she's been working on, and it's a magnificent book about books. <laughs> it's the most geeks tabard thing there could be. She's written a book about other books, wonderful. And it gives you learning plus one, tiny bit of prestige, monthly learning lifestyle up by 40%. Now that is interesting. What's our current one? Our current one is up by 20%. Do you know what, Sahava? That's a very good book. It's so good, we are going to have a read of it right now because that is very exciting. So plus 40% now. So it was 22 months until we get our perk. Now it's 19 months. Three months have been knocked off the time it's going to take us to get whole of body. Okay, that's really good news. Oh, well done, Sahava. Well done. That was fabulous. Good writing. Um, oh, my goodness me. <laughs> right. Well, there, there's a thing. There's a thing you don't see every day. Um, okay, right. So I've been warned that the bidet is practice human sacrifice, but never had I imagined that I bear witness to such a sacrifice. Me neither, Geeth, and me neither. On a stone altar... I see a woman stripped nude. You won't see that because of the decency mugs. Thank you, decency mugs. Laminated to the surface with tightly wound ropes. I can't believe what I'm witnessing. She pulsates rapidly with each breath, her bloody eyes pleading with me to interfere. Okay, maybe we can buy her freedom. Or I must look away and she does. No, 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 no. No, no, this is outrageous. No, we're going to, we're going to buy her freedom and then maybe also hopefully buy her some clothes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, okay, would you like to join our camp? Um, boop. Okay, right, hang on a second. Now, hopefully, she's put some clothes on and we can go and see what she was actually like. So, um, yeah, she'd be in here somewhere. Oh, crikey, how do we find where she is? <laughs> she was called Zahab or something. Hang on, let me see if I can find where she might be. There she is, there's Zainab with clothes on, which is all very good. That's a lot better. So, well, yeah, in terms of skills and such, she's sort of okay. 
not really exceptional or anything, but not really bad either. So do you know what? You're okay. The main thing is that you've not been killed to death, which is wonderful. So there we go. Welcome to the camp. Welcome aboard. And um, okay, let's get back to our traveling. So I think we're coming down here to visit the mining settlement. Okie dokie, more stewardship lifestyle. Means to an end. I sit by the supply tent, letting the sounds and smells of the camp wash over me. It's different from a life within the safe walls of a palace. So very different. The freedom is easy to enjoy. No obligations, no counsellors yapping, no dignitaries to entertain, none of the downsides, the trappings of power. Yet these freedoms are dearly purchased. The constant scraping for survival wears thin. Increasingly every night, I yearn for a proper bed. Okay, so I must claim some lands in the future. You gain lust for land for 35 years. Okay, I don't think we would. I think Geethan's quite happy touring about. I quite enjoy this life. Time to get used to it. Uh, or best to keep my options open. Uh, ooh, okay. Best stock up on whatever lies ahead. We could pick up 664 provisions and we might also get flexible leader. We're going to do that one. Best to keep my options open and stock up because Geethan is a clever chap and he knows they need food to carry on touring about. So absolutely, we will do that. Thank you. And um, yeah, there we go. Capital of uh, Ghana has been visited. That's very exciting. Um, okay, we're watching. Oh, we've seen this before. We sort of have a chat with somebody uh, who's doing some work in a field or something. But okay, we lose some stress. Okay, <laughs> right. That was fine. That was fun. And then back over here we go. I think we still can't do the thing, can we? We still can't do the um, gather provisions thing when we get to where we're going. I think we're possibly about a year off, which is unfortunate. Um, ah, okay. We've seen this before. We're having a walk around an orchard. Suddenly a high-pitched shriek pierces the air. I quicken my step, only to find a peasant child below a tree in shambles and sobbing violently. Okay, so they've broken their leg, they've fallen out of the tree, and they're injured. Okay, so we can sort of heal them up, or we can just sort of go, boys will be boys. Which doesn't help the poor child at all, does it really? <laughs> Why would you choose that one? What kind of monster would you have to be to pick that option? No, no, we're going to pick there, there, because that's the right thing to do. We lose some dread, but we don't have any dread anyway. And the child gets soothed, and we get soothed child, general opinion, up by 10. Because you know, we're a nice person, so there, there, don't you worry. And there we go. We are now here at the Ejil Mining Pits. And we have one and a half thousand provisions left. Where is our next location? It's all the way up here. Oh, there's plague. <laughs> there's plague and germs going on over here. Stop putting germs where we want to go. This is outrageous behavior. Um, okay, how bad are the germs over here? Camp fever, minor. Okay, it's been about a year. It's killed 16 people. Do we run in really quickly and then just run back out again? <laughs> it's all over here. We have to sort of take a slightly lengthier route back to over here. But we're nearly done. We are so nearly done with our African tour. Um, the only thing is, if we go to here, it's costing way too many provisions. Okay. We have a little bit of an issue here, don't we? When can we go and do, um, when can we go and do this again? Uh, October 1106. So a year's time, because for some reason we couldn't look around here for any food because of reasons. Okay, we might have... Okay, let's go into here, uh, thinking of something else. Supplies are this way. Let's do this again. Can we get 2,191 provisions by turning on the charm? We believe in you, Geethan, and it worked. Okay, <laughs> we're not going to do anything else in here. Although, hang on a minute, actually. Um, thinking of something else. Can I sell... Ah, bother. Okay, I was hoping to um I was hoping to sell one of the architect drawing things we've got, but never mind. No, it's all okay. We don't need to do anything with that. Um right, okay, let's head over here very quickly. Uh do we head to the coast first, possibly actually? Do we head there and do a spot of fishing maybe? And see how the germs are by the time we get just here. Let's do that. Fifty-four days, nearly two thousand provisions. But we might be able to do some fishing. 
Okay, we have an event called fire. This can't be a good thing, can it? We ride through lands heavy with agriculture. Our next stop is a local plantation at Tiris, but as I spot the gates about 100 paces away, something is off. I inhale the acrid scent of... smoke? Smoke? Fire! I suddenly notice the pillar of smoke taking shape over the plantation. Okay, so it's not a fire in our camp. It's a fire in the location where we are. Okay, so maybe not quite so bad. The column is thick and heavy, too large to stem from one of the workers burning some stray debris. Okay, so it's a big prop of fire. So Tamir Quick, get the buckets. A Tamir Prowess Challenge. Okay, so Tamir tries to put the fire out. 81% chance it works. Uh, they're not going to die. They might get a bit burnt. Okay, or let's evacuate the people from the workhouses. Prowess challenge. 99% chance that it's going to work. Uh, your entourage members lose a great deal of opinion of you. Really? What, because we saved some people? Uh, well, then, isn't this the opportunity? An intrigue challenge. Your entourage members lose a great deal of opinion for you, or we were never here. Okay, we're not going to do that one. Why are people losing opinion of us? <laughs> if we evacuate people from the workhouses... Why are they losing a great deal of opinion for others? Because we've just saved a load of people's lives. I don't fully understand why that would be the case. We gain firefighter for 10 years. General opinion up by 15. And we might become friends with the person who runs this sort of uh, place where we are. Why would they lose opinion of us if we go and save everybody's life? That doesn't really make any sense. Um, or do we just get Tamir to do it? Because then people don't lose opinion of us. We're going to do this one. We're going to evacuate the people from the workhouses. And if people lose opinion of us, then that's the way it is. But I don't really understand why that would be the case. We're going to do that. Okay. We rescue the workers unscathed. And we become a firefighter. Okay. <laughs> oh, Geethan's got... He's got so many skills as Geethan. He's a very versatile person. Okay. Over here we go. Oh, there's a transcribed text contract. Um, okay. We're going to do this nice and quick. So we can go fishing, which is brilliant. Okay, it's a good day for fishing. Uh, can we rent a boat? We're here with Tamir. Okay, hello, Tamir. Can we rent a boat? And, okay. Um, let's go for this one. 60% chance that we acquire 332 provisions. Let's give it a go. And we did. Okay, so a tiny amount of provisions. That'll keep us going for a while. And then let's transcribe these texts. Um, so again, we're pretty good at this. So let's give this another go, shall we? 87% chance. The first one didn't work this time. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, next one. 87% chance. That worked. And the last one. And the last one worked. We always get two out of three on that one, but there we go. So a little bit of money and some more provisions. Very nice indeed. Okay, so the place we need to go next is over there. The Boo of Tudla, which sounds like a lovely place to go and visit. However, it is unfortunately a little bit plaguey right now. A little bit germy over there. So I think what we're going to do is... We're going to wrap things up for now because I suspect maybe we might need to just kind of poodle about along the coast for a bit and wait for the camp fever to just go away from over here, really. Just from that one place there because Geethan doesn't want to get bitten again by the germs. He went through the germs last time just you know, fleetingly and it caused quite a lot of heartache and pain for him. So he doesn't want to go and do that again. I think that might be unwise, even though... It's only a sort of you know, minor illness, only a minor plague. It's only killed 20 people. That's still 20 people that are dead because of it. So we don't want to risk it. I think it's going to be a bad idea. So yeah, Geethan's not really kind of bold enough to head over into here just yet. So I think we'll wander about the coast for a bit, have a look over here. Maybe go and visit the Canary Islands, possibly, because, you know, they're a nice place to go to. They're lovely and sunny, so you know, go and get some pina coladas on the beach or whatever. And then when that's all died down, come back over here, complete the visit to here. And then I think, unless something else has appeared, we can go and have a quick check, can't we? Unless another location has appeared sort of up here somewhere, that's kind of it. Now, I think that's going to be it. So we go there when it's not all germy. We go here, making our way possibly... Oh, no, that's really awful. <laughs> the fact there's some germs there is really unfortunate because we might have to go this way round 
which is going to take a long time. So, okay, never mind. But, yes, yeah, so we could go to here, and that's it. Then we're done. Then we hop over here and begin the European leg of the journey, which is going to be... I mean, look how many places there are. We're going to be visiting so many places every single time we go anywhere. So it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. I mean, there's a lot of travel to do there as well. But uh, yes, of course, we've got that place down there in Africa, which is unfortunate because that appeared after we'd left, but not to worry. So uh, I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. But yeah, we need the germs to die down. It's yeah, very germy around here. Very plaguey. So yeah, we don't want to go there just yet because yeah, that's going to be quite bad. That's going to be quite bad. So, yeah, we'll sort of, um, we'll mooch around over here for a bit. Just, you know, maybe do a few contracts or whatever. Just, you know, chill out for maybe a few months and just hope that all kind of fizzles out. And then, yeah, complete the African leg and go over into Europe, which is all going to be very exciting. And as well, hopefully, we can get over to the Wanderer lifestyle because I do want to get this thing. I want to get the Monument Expedition activity because it's just the most geethan of all the things. So I want to get that as well. And I think, yeah, we do pick up a lot of experience in the Wandering Lifestyle, 50% more. So we're going to pick these up nice and quick when we go over to this. So that's going to be quite fun too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that we don't get all plagued and such like next time and we can get that done when we come back hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that will be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in crusader kings 3 but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time we found a whale pandas Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable. Good deal. It was too dear. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Peacock. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got manta rays. Parrots. And there we go. Beavers. Yay. Yes, it was an eagle. It's a turtle. We've got a narwhal. We've got frogs. This is... I love this.